the warmth of a summer's evening shattered by sirens. A huge police response answering urgent calls for help. Just after 10pm, this white van was driven at people who were walking across London Bridge. It crashed near Southwark Cathedral. Witnesses said three men got out and ran towards Borough Market, stabbing anyone in their way. That is terrorist. There was a bar full of people there just having a good time and they went running straight into them and then, I'm not too sure, they were saying, I think they were saying, this is for Allah and uh, people, you could hear them screaming and they were getting stabbed. When they first see him, they went, this is for Allah and they run up and they stabbed this girl, I don't know how many times, 10 times, maybe 15 times and uh, she was going, help me, help me and I could not do nothing. Terror rippled through the area's bars and restaurants. Police ordered people to get down as they tried to identify the attackers. Others were told to run as armed officers moved in and cleared the area. Then this. Less than 10 minutes after the first calls, it was over. Three attackers shot dead. They had canisters taped to their bodies, what looked like suicide vests, but not real, the police say. Paramedics were there quickly, trying to save lives. On the bridge, people were treating those who'd been run down by the van and those who'd been stabbed. A huge area of Southwark was cordoned off. Heavily armed officers were carrying out checks. They needed to be sure there weren't other attackers. And that included checking nearby buildings. This morning, the Metropolitan Commissioner had grim news. It is now being confirmed, sadly, that seven members of the public have died. In addition, as you know, we believe three suspects are dead. My current information is that 48 people have been injured and 48 people were indeed taken to hospital for treatment. Once again, terror has shaken this election campaign and the Prime Minister has been forced to confront some tough questions. In terms of their planning and execution, the recent attacks are not connected. But we believe we are experiencing a new trend in the threat we face, as terrorism breeds terrorism, and perpetrators are inspired to attack, not only on the basis of carefully constructed plots after years of planning and training, and not even as lone attackers radicalised online, but by copying one another and often using the crudest of means of attack. We cannot and must not pretend that things can continue as they are. On a still Sunday morning, London has to consider the implications of another attack. There's a growing police investigation and a large area still sealed off. This city's felt terror's impact many times, but it's still painful. It's still a test of this city's resolve. Dan John